Welcome to worship. Uh, so glad that we're able to gather across oceans and across continents to be with one another for worship and prayer today. Let us take a moment to prepare our hearts and minds for this time together. We are gathered across continents and oceans by the one who made us one, the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. As we come together for worship and prayer, we come in honesty about our own brokenness and about our part in the brokenness found throughout the world. For as 1 John says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So now let us confess our sin before God and in the presence of one another. The prayer of confession will be spoken by Anatoa Daniel Peter in Kiswahili. For the English language speakers among us, please use this time to be honest with yourself and with God. Majina yangu ni naitwa Daniel Peter, napatikana huko Tanzania katika ushirika wetu wa makao makuu hapa Midola Taasisi ya Ulanga na Kilombea. Ninatamani kusogea mbele za Bwana wakumbuka wenzetu walioko kule Marekani ambao bado wanasumbuliwa na shida hii ya corona. Lakini kabla sijasogea mbele za Bwana kuomba jambo lolote natamani kusogea mbele za Bwana kuomba toba kwa ajili ya shida hii. Maana Mungu unajua chanzo cha shida hii. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth, ninasogea mbele zako Bwana nikiomba toba, nikiomba rehema e Bwana kwa ajili ya chanzo cha shida hii, kwa ajili ya chanzo cha tatizo hili la corona e Bwana. Ninajua ni watu wengi wamekufa katika taifa lile. Ninajua ni watu wengi wamepoteza maisha. Wengine e Bwana kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanategemea katika maisha, lakini e Bwana wamefariki. Mungu ninasogea mbele zako e Bwana, nikiomba toba, nikiomba rehema zako, nikiomba Mungu upate kuwasamehe, nikiomba Mungu upate kusamehe watoto wako wote ambao e Bwana wameingia katika shida hii e Bwana wengine wamekata tamaa katika shida hii Mungu lakini we Mungu ni tumaini lakini we Bwana ni tumaini e Bwana ulie tumaini jipya ninakusi katika damu ya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ukawape nguvu mpya tena Bwana ukawainue tena e Bwana Mungu ukawatie nguvu tena Mungu ukawaponye tena katika damu ya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth aliye hai e Bwana ninasogea mbele zako nikisi damu ya Yesu Kristo ikafute katika kila mikoa yote ya kule Marekani kila mahali ambako e Bwana shida hii imekuwa kwa viwango vya juu ninakusi katika neema yako e Bwana ukapate ngo kufuta kwa damu ya Yesu ukapate kwenda kuosha kwa damu ya Yesu ukapate kwenda kutakasa kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ili hili tatizo e Bwana likapate kwenda kukoma nikapate kwenda kukoma katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ndio Bwana uliyesema kwamba njoni kwangu ninyi utamsumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo nami nito wapumzisha katika kitabu chako cha matayo kumina moja shirini na nane ndiyo mandiko ambao e buwana natukumbusha kwamba tusogeze mizigo yetu e buwana angalia e buwana tatizo hili hata madaktari wameshindwa lakini e buwana pia neno lako natukumbusha ya kwamba e buwana ya siwezekana kumanadamu kwa kumungu ya nawezekana ndiyo mana mungu ni nakusi karika ngugu zako karika uweza hako buwana ukapate kwenda kwa ponya wenzetu ukawakumbuke tena e Bwana taifa lile kwa kukumbuke kwa upya tena Mungu wa mbingu na nchi Mungu naye wewe wote Mungu ndiye muaminifu ninakusi e Bwana wakumbuke katika neema yako neema yako yatosha e Bwana ninakusi katika nguvu zako katika uwezo wako Mungu ukapate kwenda kuwaponya kuanzia sasa katika jina la Yesu Kristo majira na wakati kama huu Mungu waongezee tena viwango vingine vya imani maana imeandikwa amtegemee mwanadamu amelaniwa lakini amtumainie Mungu atabarikiwa 
Nina kushi mungu kwa baraka jako buwana Ukapate kwenda kuainua tena kwa viwango vingine vya imani Kariga jina la Yesu Christ wa Nazareth Mungu nina kusi pia kwa ajili ya mausiano ya kwao na sisi e buwana Na kusi mungu endele kuimarisha usiano Ukandele kuleta faida karika maisha yetu e mungu Tunaweishi karika dunia hii e buwana Tunajua tunapitia mapito mbali mbali Lakini we ni mungu ambayo unaweza kutunganisha karika umoja Sawa sana neno lako libyo sema kwamba Tuendele kwa karika umoja Kama jinsi yesu alibyo kwa na umoja na we e buwana Na si mungu tuweze kwa na umoja Kariga jina la Yesu Christ wa Nazareth e buwana. Naomba pia waimarishe maisha yao ya kiro e buwana. Unajua maisha yao namne alifo. Unajua maisha yao mungu jinsi wa navo ishi e buwana. Mungu ni nakusi karika uruma zako e buwana. Wendele kuatia ngufu. Wendele kusimama kwa viwango vingine vya imani. Kariga jina la Yesu Christ wa Nazareth simama e buwana. Kwenye makanisa yao, simama kwenye maisha yao, simama e buwana kwenye afya zao, wakumbuke kwa rema zako na kwa upendo wako, ni kariga jina la Yesu Christo, ni naomba na kushukuru mbele zako. Amen. Amen. Asante. In honesty, we march in the light of God. And the light of God's grace shines into the darkest places. God sees you. God loves you so much that God gave everything, even life itself on the cross, for you. Hear God's word spoken to you in the name of Jesus and by Christ's authority. Your sin is forgiven. Be at peace. Rest in the promise of forgiveness, of salvation, and life. Amen. This song gives the, an idea that we are caught into happiness. That is this worldly happiness and the heavenly happiness. And we should strive not only to worldly happiness, but also to heavenly happiness. And Jesus is calling us uh, to join him in the internal happiness, to sing with him forever and ever. Amen.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. All of you big things, bless the Lord. Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Adams, the Rocky Mountains and Mount Ndorolo, the Rift Delta and the Snake River Plain, the Columbia and the Kilimbaro Rivers, fat baobabs and towering ponderosa pines, African buffalo and American bison, mighty bald eagles and fish eagles, bless the Lord. Praise and extol God forever and ever. All of you tiny things, bless the Lord. Busy black ants and hopping fleas, flitting honeybees and butterflies, wriggling tadpoles and mosquito larvae, feathered lilac-breasted rollers and western tanagers, grains of rice and grains of wheat, jumping salmon and wandering baboons, bless the Lord. Praise and extol God forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is great honor to be among you today. Before I proceed, I would like to thank God for allowing all of us to participate in this international service. I extend my thanks to the committee for taking their valuable time to organize the service. Moreover, I would like to thank all of you for taking your time to attend this service. Now, let us hear the readings which I have chosen to share with you. I read from John chapter 14, verse 1 up to 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. Dear friends, in our readings, in verse 1, Jesus says to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Back to chapter 13, Jesus spoke about going back to his father. The message of going back to his father was shocking and a challenging message to his disciples. Why? The answer is simple. Jesus was everything to his disciple and they were anticipating many good things in their future. Therefore, Jesus leaving was the bad news to disciples, and they were astonished and shocked. In response to their shock, Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Then he said to them, Yes, I will leave. I will go back to my father to prepare a place for you. Dear friends, together with the above explanations, but the underlying theme of this passage is trusting. Trusting God sets us free from trouble. Trusting God sets us free from physical and spiritual trouble. Trusting God sets us free from the power of evil. Moreover, trusting God leads us to eternal life. Dear friends, the message in these readings is one of the fundamental message in our Christian faith. The message assures us that Jesus had not forsaken us, but 
He is now preparing a place for us. The place where we live together with God and Jesus Christ forever. Jesus promised all of us that he will come again to take his dedicated people. Jesus says, there is more than enough room in my father's house. Yes, there are enough rooms for the people of Northwest Intermountain Synod. There are enough rooms for the people of Ulanga Kilombero Diocese. Indeed, there are enough rooms for the whole people in this world. I pray that the Christian of Northwest Intermountain Synod and the Christian of Ulanga Kilombero Diocese should be among other Christians in the house of our Father. Therefore, my call to all of you is to stand firm in faith to God and Jesus Christ. May our Lord bless you all. Amen. Good evening and good morning. Today's scripture is from the 12th chapter of Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. Here ends the reading. Karibu. The scripture I've chosen to meditate on with you this morning comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It's a short bit of scripture, but it has been very much on my heart and on my mind and in my prayers in these recent days. The writer of Hebrews tells us that we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us. What I have really come to understand in a new way is that we don't get to choose the race that we run. That race is given to us and we are expected to persevere in the running of it no matter what. This can seem like an unfair deal. This can seem like more of God playing with us. It can seem to a country and to a people who are used to making their own choices and their own decisions really unfair. What I am learning in this time of COVID-19, in this time of being unable to engage with humanity in the way that we most want to, what I am learning is that this is a race that will, will require perseverance. This is a race that is long. This is a race that requires us not to give up, not to give in. But what we often forget is that God also provides. That the same God that places this race before our feet to run is also the same shepherd that guides us through the valley of the shadow and leads us beside still waters. We forget that this is the God who provides for all of our needs and then some. We forget that each one of us has been uniquely gifted for life in these days. And so that has been part of my personal discipline this fall. What gifts do I bring to this time? What gifts has God instilled in me that allows me to be what my neighbor needs right now? In a world where we cannot safely engage with one another face to face, how are we to engage with one another at all? And even there, God provides. If you had asked us just 12 months ago, if we would ever be able to have a joint worship service between the Ulanga Kilimbero Diocese and the Northwest Intermountain Synod, we would have told you it's impossible. 
For the only way that we knew to make that happen before was for one group to travel across the ocean to spend time with the other at great cost. But now, being unable to be face to face with one another, we have discovered new ways to be together. We've discovered ways to be together that opens up that opportunity for so many more of us to join in. This is now the second time in two months that a group of people in the United States and a group of people in Tanzania have gathered together to praise God and to give thanks for the gift that is one another. Which brings me to the second piece of this scripture that is so important. We are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Oftentimes in the American Lutheran Church, that gets interpreted to mean those who have died, those who have passed on, those who are no longer with us, they still surround us as a cloud. But in these days, I am understanding a different way to interpret that image, a cloud of witnesses that we are surrounded by. And that means that no matter what happens, God provides ways for his people to come together in prayer, in praise, in worship, in mutual consolation, in uplifting and praying for one another. As we gather together today, you saints of UKD, I give thanks for you, for the witness that you bear, for the love and the care that you send to us in ways big and small. I give thanks that through the wonders of technology, we're able to see the Tumayini project begin to bear fruit in some wonderful ways. We give thanks for that partnership. We give thanks to God for God's faithfulness in bringing that project to fruition. I give thanks that I can see and hear friends who I have yet to meet face to face, but who I know and who I care for as deeply as if we had been in school together. I rejoice to be with you today. Brothers, sisters, siblings, in a great cloud of witnesses, each called by God, each blessed with gifts, each reminded that we are never truly alone because we are part of the family of God. And that family is larger than we could ever begin to comprehend. May God bless you. Asante sana. Amen. This song has to do with the last day when we have done in this world. And uh, Jesus is coming as in his kingdom. And so we'll be knocking at his door. And so they are singing that when they are knocking, please the Lord should open for them so that they can join him and enjoy with him in the eternal life.
our gracious, loving, and merciful God. Today, your people from the ELCT, Ulanga Kilomber Diocese, and the ELCT, EL, EL, ELCA, Northwest Interpolitan Synod, have again joined their efforts to pray to you, our dear Father in heaven. Remember, the words you spoke to King Solomon when he finished building the temple that when my people who are called by my name humble themselves and they pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. We are your people by grace. We are called by your name by grace. We graciously humble before you to pray and seek your face, O oh God. It is for COVID-19 pandemic. We feel it takes too long to get treatment and vaccination, and we're becoming impatient. We are unworthy to raise up our arms and our hands, our heads to you, Lord, for we are fallible beings. We can only cling to unconditional love and the mercy. We know that you love us no matter what we are or what we do. Dear God, please, we humbly ask you to bring healings and vaccination to our sisters and brothers in Northwest Intermountain Synod and in USA in general, to our sisters and brothers in Europe, to our sisters and brothers in other parts of the world, to our sisters and brothers in the UKD and Tanzania in general, we commend ourselves into our hand, O oh God, that we will always continue to pray for each other. Into our hands, we commend everything we have prayed, and thank you for listening to our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For the church around the world, may we all live and love in the blessing of the Holy Spirit. May we, in that church, be faithful to the message of the gospel. We pray for all, especially the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania, the Yolongo Kilimbaro Diocese, the baptized, the bishops, especially Bishop Bernard Ntenji and Bishop Kristen Kempel, all pastors, deacons, evangelists, other pastor leaders, missionaries, preaching and teaching, and the church schools, especially Tumaini Lutheran Seminary, including their students, trusting that the Holy Spirit, who knows our needs, prays with and through us also. Thanks, God. Thanks, Jesus. Now we are coming to you today. Thanks for your protection. And we thank you for all you have done, Lord. And our aim of our prayer is for those who pass in through the difficult time, which caused by the dangerous disease COVID-19, keep away from the dangerous disease. And we pray for those who our friends live in USA who pass in through this this disease. Keep away from the disease, protect them so that they can go back to school. Our fellow students who live in USA say now are not going to school because of the dangerous disease. Help them and protect them because they are they are same as we are. They are human beings as we are, they are students as we are. Who who we are that will keep away us from the dangerous disease, but they are passing through the dangerous disease. Keep away from the dangerous disease so they can go back to school and they can we pray for all of the animals and the plants and even the people who couldn't get away from the fires this fire season in this unprecedented wind event and um, think about how blessed we are and fortunate that we were able to stay safe and just thinking about how the ash coming down um, on all of our houses is all of the things that couldn't get away. And we pray for our 
everybody's safety and well-being and all of the wildland firefighters like my sister and me who are fighting these fires this summer. Bwana Yesu tunashukuru kwa ajili ya wema na upendo wako. Tunasema asante kwa maana wewe ni Mungu usiyeshindwa jambo lolote. Tazama Mungu wetu tunakuja mbele zako tukisema asante kwa ajili ya wema na upendo wako kwa jinsi ulivyotenda kutushindania na kupigania dhidi ya ugonjwa wa corona katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania. Tunakuomba mbele zako pia hata kwa ajili ya mataifa mengine ikiwemo taifa la Marekani hasa katika diocese hii ya Northern Western Intermountain Synod. Tunaomba Mungu rehema zako juu ya taifa la Marekani, achilia uzima na uponyaji juu ya ugonjwa huu wa corona. Ukapate kwa achilia rehema zako juu ya mfalme wa ajabu. Lakini si wao tu hata mataifa mengine yote tunaomba neema kwa Mungu ikashuke juu ya ulimwengu na huu ugonjwa ukatoweke kabisa. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kushukuru. Amen. Amen. For regions and or people experiencing natural, political, or economic crises, elections, and promotions of justice and peace, Lord, in your mercy. For those persecuted for, for their faith and all who suffer in body, mind, and spirit, Lord, in your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for giving us protection. Now I come to say thank you. Also, I come to ask the disease called COVID 19 and bless you, our pastors and our students and our parents who are living in SA. Also, Lord, you don't forget the children and for the name of Jesus. Dear Lord the Compassionate, hear the cries of your people. Be near us in these times of uncertainty. Give us strength when we are tired. Calm us when we are anxious. Gentle our hearts that are beating so quickly in frustration. When the burdens of the pandemic seem too great to bear, give us faithful hearts to serve you. Move us to be your hands and feet in this world that is upside down. Fill us with your abundant love so that our hearts will be overflowing in love towards our neighbor. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, the great healer, we remember in prayer all who are hurting this day, for the poor and oppressed, the sick and the dying, the bereaved and the lonely, the homeless and the unemployed, the exiles, refugees, and prisoners. Help us to shoulder the burden of suffering in our neighbors and make us bearers of the hope that is found in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Fuka tu achi ya katika kifungo cha ugonjwa wa corona, ikiwa ni kwa ajili ya maasi yetu chini ya jua au ni kwa ajili ya jambo lolote, Mungu hata hilo tusamee ili tutoe katika kifungo hicho cha ugonjwa wa corona. Baba ukozifanye na nchi zilizopata na ugonjwa huu akawepo huru. Asante Mungu wetu, tunajua wewe unasikia maombi yetu na kuona. Basi utusikie hata kwa ajili ya jambo hili ambalo limetukuta. Mungu, mipende neema, tunashorikuna kwa ushirano kwa ya diocese ya Ulango Kilimbero na sinidi ya kashariki maharibi ya sinima ya kazi tunafanyanya pamoja. Tunomba Baraka yako lendele juu ya uhuarishano ulango na washiriki wote na umbaji wo, wako wako wote. Enchilida kuntumbarifi ka kunata moyo mashiriki menu na kazi tuna 
Gozana Kushariki Upenda Wako Na Nema Navahema Kama Tulianavan Katika Matthew Isharini Na Nani Na Semenini Natano Tuna Kupa Shurikini Na Saifi Kwa Zawadi Ya Wamano Yesu na omba haya yote kwa jina la tafika amina. Our beloved father who are living in the heaven, now we are sons, as we are sons and daughter, we are coming to you. We need your blessing because you are passing in the trouble period in the world this because of COVID-19 now we are asking for you we are asking for your assistance we are not in order today to get the blessing we are fine for the peaceful and we know that you are the right place for the peaceful so we are coming to you we bring those women who supporting us as two men who are seminar, we are bringing to you, we need the protection on them, protect them about this dangerous disease. Also remember all people in USA, remember them, protect them from this disease. We know that you are the whole God and you will be with us forever. So we need your protection and we need your blessing. For the name of your sons, Jesus Christ. Amen. Muumba mwenye upendo. Asante kwa tuzunguka na familia na marafiki ambao hutulea na kutuangoza katika njia za nema, rahema na upendo. Tunakumbuka haswa wale wale okufa na kutuacha na kukumbu kumbu za imani na upendo wao. Naomba tujifunze kuishi kwa bosara kutoka kwa mifano yao katika mapambano yetu ya haki na amani. Wacha tushangilia na waminifu wote wa kila kizazi kupanua ufahamu wetu wa kundi kubwa la mashahidi ambao wametutangulia. Na wapo karibu nasi katika maisha. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Mwitu tunakushukumu kwa mwanguni kwa jile utukufu na wezo ila lako. Tunakuja kwako kwa mwe wa shukulani na kulibaliki jina lako takatifu. Asante kwa jile upendo wako mkubu ambao mungu natenda kazi na ya maisha yetu. Kipeke tunakuja mbele zosha wako. Tukileta mfamu ujima mbele yako. Jile dalu wa vita rafiki zetu mbubu zetu mfamu ujima. Nothi Westeni, Intermonteni, kutoka kule sinu ya Malikani. Mungu tunawaleta mbele na ushwa kwako. Tunamba fomu ujima, uendele kwa konya, uendele kwa wanikania. Yemedari wa vita, kutokana na janga hili la korona ambao linokumba uli mungu ujima. Tunajua kwa mba fomu ujima na wameathirika kwa na mwagia unikine. Mungu mwaminifu tunaomba nema yako ekandele kupita katika sinu bibi. Ekandele kupita kwa rafiki zetu hawa. Na katika janga na nyakati hizi za janga la COVID-19, mungu edelea kuwa wezesha kwa mwajima, umoja wa kanisa kwa mwajima kwa mwajima na mishoni yake, kuweza kufanya kazi yake sawa sawa kwa mwajima na ligo kwenda kusugiwa. Licha ya changamoto balibali kwa mwajima ambazo linapitia kama kanisa kwa mwajima. Mungu mwaminifu tunaomba peke ya kuwa tiemuvu, lakini zaidi ya yote na umoja luko na kuanzisha baina yetu na wao. Mungu mwaminifu tembea peke yako na onekana peke yako mfamu ujima. Utusaidie mwenye na utuwezeshe peke yako mfamu ujima. Licha ya changamoto ya janga hili la kimataifa leo kwenda kutukumba. Lakini bwana yesu wewe mfamu ujima ni mkuu kuliko hili janga. Mbuvu yako tukayone dani yetu mfamu ujima. Na huduma na mpangu leo kwenda kuipanga tukaitekeleze mfamu ujima. Ikafanyike shawashana utukufu wako. Kwa shababu mungu metupa ujima na badu na tena kazi kumude nashi. Tunagiachigia mkone mwako tukiomba mungu mwaminifu. Our omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent Lord who art in heaven, 
We thank you for your daily mess and support to us. We humble to your holy throne asking for your solution against COVID-19. To our brothers and sisters all over the world, specifically Northern Western Intermountain Synod, we request you to release a hidden knowledge to our doctors, nurses, lab technicians and other medical personnel so that the disease becomes under control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
kushukuru kwa ajili ya sino ya Western Inter Mountain ya Marekani pia baba tunaomba kwa ajili ya umoja wa makanisa na huduma za commission ya kiinjilisti pia tunaomba kwa ajili ya watu wote waliobatizwa maaskofu wachungaji wachungaji wa mishioni na shule za makanisa baba tunaomba ukaonekani ukao pamoja nao baba pia tunaomba kwa ajili ya shikamano wa wakristo wote duniani tunaomba wao na shikamano pia tunaomba kwa ajili ya uumbaji wake Mungu katika hali yake kama alivyokusudia tunaomba ardhi tunaomba bahari tunaomba mazingira tunaomba ya hewa tunaomba kwa ajili ya kila kitu ambacho Mungu alikiumba katika neno lako na vile ambavyo unataka kiwe pia tunaomba kwa ajili ya wale wanaoteswa na imani yao katika Kristo baba waonekanie kuwa pamoja nao watie nguvu waimarishe katika mkono wako pia tunaomba wale wanaoteswa wanaotesa mili yao kwa ajili ya Kristo wanaoteseka kiakili kimawazo pia tunaomba kwa ajili ya janga la korona tunaomba wengine wote duniani na hasa sinodi ya Mayao West Intermountain ya Marekani tunaomba ya Bwana kuwa pamoja nao mkono wako usiwaache waendelee kuwa pamoja nao damu ya Yesu kaendelee kuwa pamoja damu ya Yesu kaotie nguvu damu ya Yesu kaendelee kuwa pamoja nao damu ya Yesu ikaendelee kuongoza namna ya kufanya na namna ya kupambana na ugonjwa wa korona pia kwa tunaomba wale waliotengwa na kudhalilishwa tunaomba wasikini wasio na masikini na makazi wasio na ajira wakimbizi wale ukufa tunaomba hata wafungwa ewa waonekanie ewa wanakuhitaji wanakuhitaji kwa kiwango tofauti wanakuhitaji zaidi katika maisha yao ewa pia tunaomba amani na haki katika jamii na ulimwengu wote ewa kwa maana wewe bwana ndio amani yetu basi tunaomba amani hiyo ikaendelee kwanza kabisa ikakaa ndani ya mioyo yetu ili baadaye ikaonekane katika miili yetu pia pia tunaomba katika tunaomba wale wale watangulie katika imani ili bwana wengine walipambana kwa ajili sisi katika imani bwana Yesu endelea kuwapumzisha endelea kuwa pamoja nao ili bwana usiwaache wakawatete pia bwana Yesu tunaleta haya mambo yote mikononi mwako tukiomba hayo yote kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Amen. And now the peace that passes all understanding guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters of Langa Kilombero Diocese and Northwest Intermountain Synod, thank you for participating in this partnership service. Now it is the time of blessing and I will speak in Swahili. Bwana akubariki na kulinda. Bwana kuangazia muda uso wake na kufadhili. Bwana kunulie uso wake na kupa amani. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Enendeni kwa amani ya Bwana mkamtumikie kwa furaha. We are marching in the light of God. 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 We are marching. We are marching. We are marching. Marching, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, marching, we are marching in the light of God. We are dancing 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 in the light of God, light of God. We are dancing, dancing, we are dancing, dancing, we are dancing in the light of God, light of God. We are dancing, dancing, we are dancing, dancing, we are dancing in the light of God. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying in the light of God. 
We are praying in the light of God. We are praying. Ooh, we are praying in the light of God. We are praying. Ooh, we are praying in the light of God. We are singing 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 in the light of God. We are singing, singing, we are singing. Singing, we are singing in the light of God. We are singing, singing, we are singing. Singing, we are singing in the light of God.